Hello students, welcome back to this class. We continue exercise 6.3 square and square root. So here the first question is what could be the possible <coughs> excuse me what could be the possible ones digits of the square root of each of the following numbers. So see the numbers are given. We have to just find out the ones that is unit place unit place of the square uh, square root of the number so first they have given this number so what we do we take the last number see the last number so to find out the square root of the number we uh, we just we have to consider the last that is 1 so 1 into I'll just take okay we take the whole number here take the last digit what is the square of 1 square of 1 is 1 into 1 is equal to 1 only so square root of 1 is 1 so the last digit is 1 so either the answer should be 1 or 9 into 9 9 into 9 is 81 so 81 also we get the last digit as 1 therefore square root of 9 is 81 so we have both two answers for this it may be the last digit so uh, understand the question once again what could be the possible ones digits of the square root of each of the following so we have to consider this first digit and just tell the answer so in order to get the one so what is the square root of one one into one is one only 9 into 9 is 81. So either it should be 9 or 9 or 1. So this is the both answer. So we write down the answer. The units, the units digit, the units digit of the units digit of the square root, square root of the number 9801 could be we will write could be 1 or 9 so both the numbers see 1 this is also ending uh, number is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so 9 into 9 is it see this square root so we have only these two options so there are two options or two answers here for the second one for the second one so they have given 6 so take the last digit 6 6 means we have that is 6 into 6 what we will get that is 36 again that is root of 36 will be 6 again 6 can be another number also we get 6 that is 4 into 4 is equal to 16 this is also the last digit is 6 so sorry this one is 4 Therefore, square root of 16 is 4. Uh, sorry, six, uh, square root of 4 is square root of 16. So, I am writing so square root of 16 is 4. So, both the answers are correct. So, you just write the units digit of the so whichever we have to square and see whichever number ends with 6 is the correct answer for this question. So the unit of the digit of the square root square root of the number number write down the number that is 998 nine, don't take the whole number only the last digit this is called a unit digit. You have to take and find out the answer. So, uh, could be, could be, that is 4 or 6. So, this is the answer for the second one. Then we move on to the third one. See here. Here, take again same thing as the first problem. 1 is there. So, what is square of 1 or square root of 1? Square root of 1 is 1. And another one where we get another number where we get 1 is 9 into 9 is 
81. Therefore, square root of 81 is equal to 9. So, 1 here the ending digit is or the unit digit is 1. Therefore, therefore the answer is the units, the units digit of the unit digit of the square root square root of the number number nine nine eight zero zero one could be could be the same thing as first one or nine so next that is last one is see this is the larger number so what we get see the last unit digit 5 so see when uh, whichever uh, number we get 5 that is 5 into 5 25 we get only one number is there where we get 5 the square root of 25 is equal to 5 so what is the unit digit here is 5 so write down the units digit units digit of the square root of the number write down the numbers zero five could be five is the answer so the unit digit here is 5. C. This is the solution for this problem. So we move on to the next one. So what is the next one? Question 2. Without any calculation, find the numbers which are surely not perfect squares. So first one is without calculation we have to see whether this is perfect square or not so therefore this is the first number so first number is one five one five three so we'll start this one so by seeing only we can tell whether this is a perfect number or not so one five three 153 C. This is not perfect number. Since it is a odd number here, we write the number the number 153 is surely surely not a not a perfect square perfect square because because it ends so it ends in 3 whereas whereas the square square numbers end with end with 1 4 five six and nine so this is the solution for this again see the next number see the next number also same thing two five seven since seven is a odd number and this is not a perfect square similarly same thing the number everything you have to repeat the same except the number two five seven is surely not a perfect perfect square because because it ends it ends in it ends in which number that is seven whereas whereas the square number whereas the square numbers
whereas the square numbers end with end with same thing we have to write 4 5 1 4 5 6 9 perfect square so next one is 408 the number what we write is so this one is also not a perfect square the number 408 is surely not a perfect perfect square because same thing you have to repeat for everything it ends ends in which number 8 here you should not consider whether it is even and odd only you should uh, see whether it is a perfect square or not 8 whereas the square numbers end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. So last one they have given same thing this is also not a perfect square. The number the number may be may be may be only for this one all the three is not perfect. This one the number may be a perfect square as the square as the square numbers may be but this is also not perfect square end with it is not that it ends with one means it is a perfect square this one may be perfect square 22 and 22 will get no it, this is not a perfect that's why you can just write maybe uh, because same thing the numbers end with 1 4 5 or 9 so this is the solution for this one that is the question 2 we move on to the next one that is question 3 so question 3 is this one. find the square root of square root of 169 by the method of repeated sub, uh, subtraction repeated subtraction so we directly start the problem uh, while solving I'll explain so repeated subtraction first take the odd numbers repeated in these repeated sub, uh, subtraction first write 100 that is give this as step 1 100 minus 1 is 99 write all the odd numbers this side second one is take this number that is 99 99 minus next number is odd is then minus this and write the next number take uh, this 96 here like this it goes 96 uh, next odd number is 5, five uh, 96 minus 5 you write that is you will get 91 similarly fourth step fourth step is take 91 91 minus next odd number is 7 which is 84 again we have fifth step fifth step take 84 84 minus 9 is equal to 75 so fifth step now sixth step is that is 75 take 75 75 minus that is next odd number is 11 is 64 now fifth 
ओके फिफ्थ सिक्स नौ सेवेंथ स्टेप टेक दिस सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर माइनस थर्टीन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन नौ नेक्स्ट इज एथ स्टेप एथ स्टेप फिफ्टी वन माइनस फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स नौ नाइन्थ स्टेप दैट इज थर्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन सॉरी नेक्स्ट इज सेवेंटीन नेक्स्ट ऑर्ड नंबर्स ऑल दीज आर ऑर्ड नंबर्स all this side is the answers you are getting so 36 minus 17 is equal to how much it is 19 so finally we got 19 tenth step is 19 you take this side again next odd number is 19 minus and minus you get zero so this is the solution therefore write since from unread we subtracted subtracted successive successive means the uh, subtraction we do the answer we get is called successive 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 odd numbers this one these are the successive odd numbers means 1 3 5 the next next numbers we are telling we are getting is called a successive numbers starting starting from 1 and obtained obtained 0 0 at the 10th step so what we got in the 10th step 0 therefore root 100 is equal to how much answer Since in the tenth step we are getting zero, the answer is ten. So next step, so next problem is that is one sixty nine. So we'll start directly. That is the first step. One sixty nine minus first odd number, one sixty eight. Second, one sixty eight minus. Three is equal to one sixty five. Similarly, the third step that is one sixty five minus five is equal to one sixty. Next step, fourth step is one sixty minus seven is equal to one fifty three. Then fifth step, one fifty three minus nine is equal to. One forty-four. Next, fifth, sixth step is one forty-four minus eleven. Next, successive or number is eleven. So, one forty-four minus eleven will become one thirty-three. Similarly, fifth, sixth, sixth and seventh step. One thirty-three minus next odd number is thirteen is equal to. That is one twenty. Then fifth, sixth, then eighth step is one twenty minus fifteen is equal to one not five. Then ninth step is one not five minus that is next odd number is seventeen, which will become eighty eight. The next is the tenth step is that is. Eighty-eight minus nineteen. Eighty-eight minus nineteen is equal to we get sixty-nine. Then tenth, eleventh step is sixty-nine minus next odd number is twenty-one is equal to forty-eight. Then eleventh, then twelfth is forty-eight minus next odd number is twenty-three is equal to twenty-five. Finally, thirteenth step is twenty-five minus this twenty-five. That is next odd number is equal to zero. So see, twenty-five we got. The next odd number is twenty-five. Answer we are getting zero. Then finally we can write since since from from one sixty-nine we subtracted. Subtracted 
successive successive odd numbers so what are successive odd numbers that is 1 3 5 7 these are called successive odd numbers so for uh, from 169 we subtract successive odd numbers starting starting from starting from 1 and obtained 0 until we should subtract this until we get 0 obtained 0 at the 13th 13th step therefore therefore 169 is equal to root 169 is equal to 13 so this is the solution for the second problem so this is the 6.3 third problem uh, subscribe my channel if you have any doubts comment me subscribe my channel share the videos thank you